All right, this is the Simon Fisher left hand exercises. So for your first finger, you wanna set down on the A string four, three, and two. And then your one, you're gonna get it ready for the G string. All right, so we have starting here, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's the first finger. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the second finger. So on the A string again, set your four down, set your three down, set your one down. We always go backwards, because if you set one, three, four, sometimes it makes the hand a little awkward. So set them down in backwards order like that. And then get your two ready for the G string. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the second finger. Now, one thing to note, you're probably noticing that during the pizzicato part, I'm setting my finger down on the rest. So it's like one and two and three and. That's a good way to do this. Um, okay, let's keep going. Then we have the third finger. So just like before, set four, two, and one, and then get your three over in the G string. You're gonna notice it starts to get a little trickier here. So one, two, three, four. Okay, in my opinion, the third finger is actually the hardest for me, even opposed to the four. Because uh, you'll notice your two and your four are gonna wanna kind of move around when you're doing your three and you wanna try to keep them in place, but not squeezing or locking, just keep them rounded. And then lastly, we're gonna set down three, two, and one. And we're gonna get the fourth finger ready on the G string. One, two, three, four. So by now your left hand is going to be burning from all this. So I'd recommend just doing like one a day, first finger, second day do the fourth finger, third day do the second finger and then third finger, you know, mix it up. Uh, just be aware that the higher up you go in your fingers, the more challenging it tends to get. Um, and I, I'm actually not sure what tempo I just did it at right now. I didn't do it super fast. I didn't really do it super slow either. So this video is mostly just to help you to like watch and make sure you're doing everything correctly and then do it on your own time at your own tempo. And then once you feel better with it, you can start to bump the tempo. Uh, but let me know if you have any other questions.